Okay, guys, so I think I have to apologize. Uh, this is, I don't know if Raid can speak uh, now or. Yes, yes, now, now I can. Uh, the next time, Raid, if this problem happens to you, please uh, go out and come back again. Uh, okay. Because uh, I don't mute any uh, of my students. What are you going to do tomorrow, Amra? Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, I'm going to school. Amazing. I'm going to my school. That's amazing. Okay. So this is it, guys. This is about the future. Be careful about using the future. Because going to and the present continuous in some way, if you are sure about the action. So these are the examples that we have. Are you going to watch TV? So yes, I am. If you want to answer yes. No, I'm not. If you want to answer no. So we are both going to have coffee. I'm going to cook, but Anna isn't. Why? Because she is going to have a pizza. So if you want to talk about now, you can use going to. But if you want to mention the future, Yes, you can use going to, but it will be a plan. So please keep it in your mind again, because uh, this is really important. Uh, someone, ah, Ghadi is coming. Okay. Now let's try to revise the grammar spot. So absolutely, guys, going to, uh, we have the verb to be plus. Going to, to, Mention the uh, plans of future. Let's complete the chart with using the best verb to be. Now I going to cook tonight. I am. Oh, or well, am. Absolutely. I am or I am going to cook tonight. He or she is, is. Oh, is. Uh, is, is going to cook or. tonight. Or. 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 Then any plural, you have to use are going yeah. to exactly and absolutely if you want to uh, ask a question you have to start with the auxiliary is she going to cook tonight is he going to watch the match tonight are they coming tonight so absolutely i have to start with the auxiliary if i'm asking a question teacher tabana and so on قبل شوي بس قلت لنا اعطونا اكزامبل على كيف بدنا نستعمل ويل مثلا فيني انا اقول اي ويل جوينج تو اي ويل وات مثلا فيني اقول انا اي ويل جوينج تو فيزيت ماي فريند رونج اوكي اول شيء غادي بدي نبهك على شيء كثير مهم دائما بعد الويل وبعد التو بدي استخدم فيرب زيرو اول ذا تايم فيرب زيرو اوكي اي ويل جو yeah, I will go, I will sleep, I'm going to drink, I'm going to run. Don't use any additional with the verb after two and after modal verb. Okay. Okay? Please, this okay. is really important. This is a horrible a grammatical mistake. Okay. Now let's use going to only if the action is going to happen right now, only right now. This is it. So the action is going to happen right now. You can use going to. But if it is in the future, it will be a plan. So please keep it in your mind. Now we have these verbs in this box. And we have to use going to plus these verbs to express the pictures. Notice number one. Number one is saying it is going to wane. So this is it. We can notice that here the rain is crossed. I used it with going to. Now two, what do you think? I'm going to drop my job. I'm no, I think uh, I have an another uh, another uh, answer. Which is? Uh, I'm going be late. I'm going what? Be late. Where is to, Jamila? A bad one. Uh, going to all the time together. To be late. Aha, uh -huh. I'm going to be late. Yeah, I think now it's logical. If I'm talking about him, I can say he is going to. 
if I'm talking about myself, I have to say I am going to be late. طبعا guys, ما ننسى انه going to all the time together. Going to and be late. Three, what do you think? She's going ah, to win. Ah, bravo. She is going to win now. Exactly. So this is it. Now the next picture. We have uh, picture number four. He is going to fall. He is going to ah, fall. Ah, he is yes. going to fall down. Exactly. This is it. Now five. It is going to drop. Yes. She is. She is going to sneeze. She is going to five sneeze. Are you sure? Drop. Oh. Ah, drop. It's going to drop the jug. Aha, uh -huh, to drop the vase. Guys, vase is Masharia in Arabic. Vase. Teacher, what is the meaning of a drop and sneeze? Drop, you spot. A drop, you spot. Okay. Sneeze. Sneeze. Yeah, Okay. Uh, yeah, Okay. Okay. Uh, cough. Cough. Bravo. Cough. Yes, I Sneeze. Yeah, hmm? This is it. C O U G H. I'm coughing. Okay. Thank you. Cough. So thank you so much. She is going to drop the vase. طبعا guys, vase بال American accent. بينما British vase. Please, this is really important. Okay, six. They. They going. They are going to have a baby. Oh, bravo! They are going to have a baby. Surprising, exactly. Now picture number seven. They are going uh, to kiss. They are going to kiss. Exactly. They are going to kiss each other. Finally, eight. Uh, he, he is, is going, going to, to sneeze. sneeze. Uh -huh. He is going to sneeze. So notice that going to is in certain places. I can use it about now. Or I can use the present continuous. Absolutely. But okay. we have a recording. Maybe we have a mistake. It is 11.4. No, anything is, cor is wrong. Is correct. <laughs> we will check this out. Maybe you have a mistake. Tape script 11.4. Careful. You're going to drop it. One. What a pity. It's going to rain. He fun. can't play tennis. Two. Look at the time. He's going to be late for his meeting. Amazing. So he is going to be late for that. For his meeting. Yes. Now number three. Three. Oh, come on. Come on. She's going to win. Fantastic. So correct. Three. Four. Oh, no. Jack's on top of the wall. He's going to fall. So he's going Five. To down. Careful. She's going to drop the vase. Too late. Six. Six. They're so excited. They're going to have a baby. It's due in July. Seven. Seven. There's my sister and her boyfriend. Ugh, they're going to kiss. Eight. He's going to sneeze. <laughs> bless you. So this is it. God bless you. So this is going to, you can use it if you want to talk about any action. This action is going to happen right now. And you can use the present continuous. Absolutely. Now, the exercise about a chick in. Absolutely, this exercise is talking about a choosing the correct sentence. So we have to take correct to the sentence that is correct. One, he's going to watch the football. He's going to watch the football. 
He's, he's going. going he's going to watch the football. Exactly. He is going to watch the football. I cannot say is and go to main verbs. This is wrong. Okay. Two. We're going to the cinema tonight. We are, we are going. Uh, we are going. We, are we have going. to use the auxiliary. Don't use going without yeah. auxiliary. Okay. Three. She is going. Oh, bravo. I cannot say she is no or she no going to cook. Four. I uh, is going to rain. Is it? Is it going to is rain? Going going to rain. rain. Oh, is it going to rain? Four is correct. Five. When are they going to get married? When they are going to get married? When are they, well, are uh, they, are they going to get married? They should be mentioned. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to the club. I'm going to the pub. Sorry. I'm going to the, to the pub. pub. To the pub. Oh, bravo. I'm going to the pub. I cannot say going without two. Like Jamila, when she committed this mistake. Okay, guys. Should teacher toilet? When when you said going without two. You and I still like my two. I'm going ah, to okay. the. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Are you okay, guys? Someone said teacher. No, anyone. Okay. So this is it, guys, about going to, you can use it to mention the present time, which uh, uh, I can use absolutely the present continuous, and you can use uh, the going to to mention the future. But if it is the future, absolutely, it is just a plan. Okay. Now, all these exercises, I, I don't find something important in them. Uh, so I think that we have to discuss a new page, which is reading, uh, then we have a speaking. Okay, so guys, we still have some minutes. I'm going to ask some of you to read. We have a text. This text is about singing. So we have to read the text and sing it for the supper. Do you know the meaning of supper? Who knows? <laughs> it's a meal after mm, uh, dinner. Uh, bravo. And what is the meaning of super? Super, it's best. Oh, bravo. So, guys, super is only one P, and I have to pronounce it as super. And this is supper with double P. This is something strong, but this is a meal. Okay. Supper. Supper al Asha. Uh, okay. Ah, ah super is kharak. Okay. Is a bit lazo, guys. Low head um, Da Vinci, uh, Isma al Asha al Akhir, the Jesus Christ, the Sayyid al Messiah. Isma, the last supper. Yelihi al Asha al Akhir. So, supper al Asha. Okay, guys. Absolutely, we have to read the text. I know that we don't have too much time, but at least I want to ask some of you, or maybe at least one of you to read, and we have to complete reading and solving the questions the next class. Let me start with Tagrid. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so... Please now, Tadrid, I need you to start reading the first paragraph, which is about singing for the supper. And it, uh, it's a sunny Saturday. Oh, please, yes. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon in the small market town of Peter's Field. Three young men arrive in the high street with backpacks and walking sticks. They uh, they are wearing green and brown jackets, hats, and boots. Is it Robin Hood with his merry men? Passers by are interested. Who are these young people? What are they going to do? One of the young men puts his hat down on, uh, on the pavement uh, and puts up a sign. 
we are uh, walking towards singing for our supper and mm -hmm. they start singing people stop to listen and smile they are singing in perfect harmony uh, not pop uh, songs, but traditional folk uh, songs. The hat is uh, soon full, and the people of Peter's field look and feel happier. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tabriz. You are a good weaver. But how can I say that? Peter what? Felt? It's field. Field. Mm, felt, this is felt. Felt is the past of field. Felt. I felt bad yesterday, but this is Peter's field. Field, yes. Amazing. And can you read this one, please? They, they are wearing. Ya uh, tara maktubi they are wearing. They are wearing. Ah, uh, bravo. Akid lamma tkun maktubi bil abbreviation, but di ulfo mitl ma hiya maktubi. Yes. So it is. They are wearing, and this one is? They are singing. Oh, bravo. So this is they are singing. This is they are wearing a green and brown jackets. Thank you so much, I can tell read. You have Thank a good you. reading skill. Okay. I think, guys, we have to stop here because I have uh, a class uh, at night. Don't forget the homework, please. Again, the homework is to write a paragraph, at least 10 lines, maximum 10 lines. You have to compare and contrast two members of your family. Absolutely, you have to use the expressions and the vocab that are existed in the page that I mentioned. When you finish writing the homework, please take a picture. If you take a clear picture, because we have to check it in the class, and send it private. Don't send anything in the group. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. so I have to thank you so much, and I have to wish a good night for you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.